To solve for f, we take s divided by s max, the magnitude of s. We're going to just get sine squared theta. Now we can plot what's called a radiation pattern. Here's one. To plot the radiation pattern, the antenna is centered right at the origin. And for a dipole, we'll align the dipole along the z-axis. So the dipole would be oriented this direction, which would be the z direction. Around the antenna, we plot the amplitude of f. So here I'm showing a nice three-dimensional plot of the radiation pattern for this antenna. The antenna is right at the center of the donut shape, and also we see the maximum radiation is right horizontally away from the antenna when theta is 90 degrees, which we can see as this function would give us a maximum of 1. But when you have to draw out a radiation pattern on paper, it's easier to create two-dimensional slices of the radiation pattern. And typically, we'll see two slices, one cutting vertically through the center of the dipole and one cutting horizontally through the middle of it. The vertical slice, vertically through the center of it, is called an elevation plot. We'll plot uh, versus theta in this case. So for our elevation plot, here's our dipole. You'll see something like this, cutting through the middle of the donut shape. And the horizontal slice, this is z, the horizontal slice is called an azimuthal pattern. And for that, we get the same radiation in all directions, so we're just going to have a circle. In these plots, you can see the maximum power is radiated horizontally away from the dipole. Now, if we wanted to sum up the total power being radiated in all directions away from the short dipole, how do you think we could go about doing this? See if you can calculate the total power being radiated by this antenna.